Hello, it's Not Bad Cat here on January 13th, 2023, with your weekly RimWorld mod updates and uploads. Things are settling down now that we're looking at the first mods of 2023. Modders are back to work after the winter vacation. From now on, videos will have chapters for easy rewatching. Timestamps are in the description. Of course, I recommend watching the whole video first since discovery is part of the fun. And it helps the channel. Let's take a look at this week's mods. Reinforced Mechanoid 2 Beta by Helixian used to be known as Halo Rimworld Heretic Mechanoids and is an expansion to their Reinforced Mechanoids Tyrekin line mod. It adds 10 new Mechanoids plus an additional two, if you have royalty, that fill roles not seen in vanilla mechs. There's mechs that can repair its allies, grenade throwers, zergy swarmers, tower shield wielders, walking shield generators, and more. There's new armor, weapons, buildings, another mechanoid faction, and ways to produce power. These mechanoids can be built and controlled too. You don't even need a Mechanator with the Just Health engine. LTEX Weapon Leap by Sir Van adds weapons that make the Fallen Empire even more of a juicy target to get all the delicious armor and weapons from. These weapons have Psychic Resonance ability, which means they will deal more damage the more psychically sensitive the wielder is. However, if an enemy is psychically dull or deaf, the weapon deals less damage. So you may want to switch these out when a mech swarm approaches. Psy Blasters by Archibus also adds ranged weapons affected by psy casting. Where Eltex weaponry's damage increased with higher psychic sensitivity, psy blasters will use some psy focus and generate neural heat to increase damage and armor penetration. Each weapon will have two variants. Focus Blasters use more focus for extra damage, and Neural Blasters use less focus but create more heat for more damage. Plus, there's a reusable rocket launcher called the Brain Dump. It'll fry the wielder's brain, but deal massive damage. So use it as a last resort. Foe's Icon Anthology 5 Medieval by Foe is another mod to add to the collection that I looked at last week. This time, there's 21 icons of various medieval items, like crowns, swords, a trebuchet, or jester hat. Autoname Animals by Beefcake means Chicken 142 will get the dignity it deserves. No thanks to you. Newborn, hatched, and newly tamed animals will be given a randomized name automatically, because I love getting a little Yorkshire Terrier named Brutus. Aaron's Aronia Biotech version by Aaron is Cats. Cat people with cute fuzzy ears, flopped ears, tufted tails, and floofy tails, whiskers, and kitty cat meows. Feel instincts and claws make them better hunters, a little more ornery, and sleepy. These cat people don't mind the dark, the cold, or share the bed with another pawn. Considering I want a larger size buzz to actually have some leg room, I wouldn't say cats share the bed. More Power Info by Arl85 can help you figure out if your power supply meets your needs or better manage separate power networks. See the net power between production and usage and how much is stored. The current autonomy, as it's called, is useful for when you're spending more than you're producing, telling you how long you can dip into your power savings till that runs dry. Orps Info by Arl85 lets you see the pawn's stats and info after it becomes a corpse. Useful to confirm that, yes, my only capable medic did just die and I'm in a death spiral. Or, look at who the pawn was before their head was turned into a skull spike. No, if you like to gloat. Automatic Nudist Outfit by Ben lets your wild and free colonists the full satisfaction of bearing all for the world to see without ever being forced to be constrained in your default outfit. Automatic Slave Outfit by Ben does the exact opposite of wild and free for your slaves. Make them the orange jumpsuits or their new collar without you needing to tell them to. Consciousness Patch by Vex allows breathing, blood pumping, and blood filtration to affect consciousness above 100%, which helps if you have mods that add implants or limbs that improve the stats. For every point above 100%, Blood filtration will add 10% of that to consciousness, while breathing and blood pumping add 20%. 150% blood filtration would add 5% to consciousness, but 150% of breathing or blood pumping would add 10% each. Customize the scaling to your liking in the mod menu. 
resizable table columns by Cathnon lets you see the full glory of the name Mr. Fluffykins Rex the Third Esquire, the Tortoise. Columns and pawn tables can be manually resized. Double click the handle to reset it back to default size. In case Mr. Fluffykins Rex the Third Esquire disappears for unknown reasons after your crop was hit with blight. And that was the mod updates and uploads for January 13th, 2023. I'd like to thank my outro patrons for this week's episode. Check out the description for this week's Steam collection and links to each mod. And of course, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's episode. This is Not Bad Cat, signing out.